Hi everybody, welcome back to Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. Today I'm gonna be making um, my soap that I call Beach Bum. And it's a real popular soap in my line. And I base this off of the fragrance oil Beach Bum by Nature's Garden. And I know a lot of soap makers out there have um, beach fragrances and beach type themes that they put in their soaps. Uh, it's a popular theme to work with and I will show you today my version of um, Beach Bum. And so I'm gonna show you what I've done to, for the embeds on the top. Um, let me go ahead and put my tripod down here so you can see. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you are my embeds. Um, I've created a sea glass out of melt and pour soap. And that's what it looks like close up. And the, all I did for this was I took um, some melt and pour soap and I poured a really thin layer of it into a cavity mold. So uh, it's, a, it's a 12 square cavity mold silicone. And basically I just poured in a little tiny, maybe a quarter of an inch thin um, into each little cavity. And then when I popped out the squares, I cut them into shapes of sea glass, just using a little paring knife. Um, so that is how I made those, and I let them dry overnight. And then I've made various um, seashells. This comes from a mold, I can show you, actually I have it out right now, that looks like this, that I got from, I think, Joanne's fabric. Anyway, it's like a little chocolate or candy mold. I've got several of those, and I just made these little seashells, and I colored them with um, Shimmer Gold Mica from Nurture Soap. And I also did a hand, I did another tray in um, using white titanium dioxide, and then I coated it with the uh, Snowflake Sparkle Mica from Nurture Soap. And then this little one comes from uh, a different mold that looks like, I'll show you that one real quick. That looks like this. It's a little silicone seashell mold. Um, I think I got this one off of Amazon. Anyway, that's how I created the top. And then for this is how I'm, this is what I'm gonna put on the top of the soap. And then I also um, poured some sea salt just to keep with the beach theme, I'm using sea salt instead of glitter. And I poured some sea salt into this bowl and then I just coated it with um, shimmer gold mica. Okay. Let's see. Okay, and then here are my oils and my lye. I mean, here's my lye over here, let me go grab it my oils and my hard oils and here's my lye um, this has been sitting out overnight so it's room temperature it's kind of chilly in here today probably about 70 degrees uh, let me grab my goggles okay let's get started Okay, I'm gonna go rinse out this container. Okay, so I'm only gonna blend this to a really light um, emulsification here, not even to trace, because I know, just because I use this fragrance oil all the time, 
that it does um, accelerate quite a bit. So I definitely want time to work. Okay, that is probably good. And then I'm going to divide this into three containers equally. Okay. Beach Bum Fragrance Oil from um, Nurture Soap smells, I mean, not Nurture Soap, Beach Bum Fragrance Oil from Nature's Garden smells like, it's, it's like copper tone sunscreen, um, but it also kind of smells like sand to me, like copper tone sand and I think it's got a touch of a floral note in there um, it's so good it just reminds you of a day at the beach honestly just reminds you so if you are a fan of beach type smells that's a great one um, if you like the beach like I do um, it's a very nostalgic type fragrance. Very, very good. Okay. I get asked about my containers a lot. So these big clear containers I picked up from a store in my area called Smart and Final. Um, but they're great. They, they, are, they have the number five on the bottom. So on the bottom of the container, if it has a little recycle number five, you know that they are um, okay to use for soap making. Um, so I, and they're perfect. They fit in the microwave. Um, and they hold a perfect amount, like for one batch for me, or I could even probably double batch. Okay, so there's that. So there I have my three and I just eyeballed, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect if you don't want it to be. Um, so I know again that this fragrance oil accelerates. So I'm not gonna add fragrance to the other two right now. I'm just gonna add a third of the fragrance and the color into this portion because I'm gonna be going for a layered look. So the bottom layer is green and I'm gonna be using Green Vibrance Mica. And this one will turn an off color at first, but then it goes back to its beautiful green um, color after it dries, after it cures. So we're gonna put about a teaspoon, maybe a touch more, into the first layer. And then I'm also adding one third of the fragrance. into there. Okay, this will be the bottom layer. Now this is a good recipe, or um, this is a good fragrance oil to use if you're gonna be doing layers or sculpted soap because it does set up quickly um, and you kinda want that when you're doing layers so your layers don't break through. Okay, that's getting pretty thick. I'm just on low on my stick blender too. So the rest of this is gonna go pretty quickly because it does accelerate. So 
So you'll see that green vibrance turns a weird kind of like olive color. It doesn't stay that color. It does go back to its original beautiful state. Okay, so here I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Here is my five pound mold from Brambleberry. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get this in. The bottom layer. Green always scares me when I use it because <laughs> it turns that weird color, but um, I know it'll go back, so it'll be okay. Okay, and then I always take a spoon here and I make a wave texture into the layers. So I'm gonna show you how that looks. I just take a spoon and I just press down. And move up. See, it's already a, the perfect texture to make that wave texture that I'm going for. There we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. So you'll see when I cut this soap, how awesome that looks with the texture. So there's the bottom layer. Then, we're gonna do the second layer, which is gonna be um, a tropical teal mica from Nurture Soap. So let me get this out of the way and show you that. So here's the second layer. See why you can't put that other layer in? It will literally set up before you have time. You can't put the fragrance in that second or third layer with this fragrance oil because you will not have time. It will set up too quickly while you're doing the first layer. Okay, so there's that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my tropical teal in. It's such a beautiful color. About a teaspoon, maybe a skosh more. And again, we're going to be putting in half of what's left here. And blending on low. Okay, now I want this liquidy enough to put into um, on top of the green. So I sh I'm gonna stop there. Bring my mold back into the frame. It's Sunday around here. My kids are enjoying video games. We've had a we have busy weekends all the time, I swear. Um, every weekend's busy for us, but um, me and my daughter had a girls' day yesterday, and it was awesome. It was just really awesome. We went and saw the movie Smallfoot, which was cute. And I'm gonna spray this with rubbing alcohol, just so the soap adheres a little bit better. And then we're just gonna pour this layer in directly on the top. 
There we go. So yeah, we saw Smallfoot yesterday. That was her, her choice of movie, and she wanted to go see the movies. And then um, we, we went to the Dollar Tree and um, picked out some candy before we went to the movies. That was fun. And then after the movies, we went to um, the mall and we visited Mac Makeup, my favorite. And then we picked up, I picked up some makeup and then we went to um, Claire's for my daughter. She wanted to go to Claire's. And we also went over to um, Bath and Body Works. And I love Bath and Body Works fragrances. I think they have such good fragrances. Like they're just, I don't know. You know, obviously they've been around a long time and um, anyway, we just smelled and we sampled and we tested and it was just a lot of fun. She ended up with um, she ended up with, I think, the uh, cin the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, which is just a divine fragrance, by the way. Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin from um, Bath & Body Works. It smells so good. Anyway, it was awesome because it's October 20th. Today's the 21st, I think. No, today's the 20th. So they're kind of right in the middle of their fall fragrances, and they've also got all of their holiday fragrances in for Christmas and winter, and it was just so much fun. We just smelled and sampled, and she ended up getting the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Lotion and something from their little kid line, the Mermaid Off Duty. They have a foam that turns to oil, kind of like a foaming lotion right now that we just were having fun with. So we had an awesome girls day, and um, we loved it. You know, sometimes we look around and my husband and I and we're like, these kids are getting so big. Like our kids are just growing so quickly and... Okay, so there's that. Let me get a little bit more of a wave texture going here. There we go. And then the boys had some scouting event. So they were all... All three of them were gone at the scouting event yesterday, so it was a good day. We don't often have weekends where one parent can spend the whole day with one of the, one of the kids, you know. So it was nice. Okay, so I, I am gonna clean off my stick blender to bring you back right back for the white part. So let me push you, um, put you on pause for just a minute. So I can go clean off my stick blender and bring it back for the white. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna go ahead and put the white into the last bit here. And this, this has been sitting for a minute. So yeah, still very loose. Now titanium di dioxide also has a tendency to thicken up your soap a bit. So um, we'll have to work quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. This is the titanium dioxide dispersed in water and then the fragrance the last bit of the fragrance there you go this smells really good it smells like the day a day at the beach which is like my favorite way to spend a day Okay, when I stick blend this, the white will pull up a little bit more. Okay, that's about all I'm gonna do here.
Okay, so then we're just gonna take that last bit of white and pour it in. This fragrance oil does discolor slightly. Um, it goes to a very off, very slightly off white. So um, if you want a nice white um, in this soap, just use plenty of titanium dioxide and you shouldn't have any problem. At least I don't. I have been making this soap for a while, so a couple years now. Okay, there's the top layer. I'm gonna give that a second to set up. I'm gonna texturize it, and then we will do um, the top. I'll bring you back for that. Okay, I'm back to go ahead and put some texture on this, some waves, and then we're gonna adorn the top with all of those cute little seashells and sea glass. It's the cutest thing. Boys, I'm filming. Okay, so I got some good waves going on here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is spray this down with my rubbing alcohol. And then I'm gonna go ahead and come back and add in my um, sea salt that is covered with the Shimmer Gold Mica. Um, and this kind of gives it the look of I don't know, I guess sand in a way. It definitely feels like sand um, in the bar. So I just go like this. I'm gonna use my hands for the rest. There we go. Some of this will fall off in the cutting and the curing process, so there. I'm gonna give it another spritz of alcohol just to get that sealed in. Okay, and then I'm coming back in with my embeds. Um, okay, this is the fun part, love it, love it. So cute, huh? <clears throat> Hi, son. Are you bathing? I am. Sorry. It's okay. Come on in. It's okay. What do you need? I'm not going to be videotaping right now. Okay. Doesn't that look so cute? Oh my goodness. It's like my, I've done this before, but I just, I just, it makes me happy. I just love this. Obviously some of these are gonna be cut out, like when you cut the soap, they're gonna be cut in half, but uh, the, the overall look is, very cute. Do 
I have a white curly cue? There. There we go. I just think it's so cute. It just looks like when you're walking down the beach and you're kind of by where the surf meets the sand at the and sometimes it'll when it draws back the sunlight, you know, glinting off the water and the sand and then the shells that are left behind in in the uh, wake. It's just such a peaceful feeling. So nice. It smells so good. I know I keep saying that, but it just does. Oh, I think I'm gonna do there. Just a purple piece in a while. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of look through here and see if there's anything else, um, any other spots to add. I've got plenty of embeds left over. That's always good. Uh, definitely good to have more than not enough left over. I'm just gonna kind of shove some of the sea glass pieces. Last time I did this with my single bar cutter when I cut it, um, trying to think about if I want to do that again because I like, I like being able to place uh, the wire where I want it, but I also like my cuts to be super even. So yeah, I think that's gonna, I think that's gonna do it. So that is the making of Beach Bum Cold Process Soap. Stay tuned for the cutting. Hi everybody, I'm back to cut um, Beach Bum Soap. This is how it stayed. This is the sides. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and use my multiple, my multi-bar cutter here. See how that goes. Hmm. Maybe I wanna go sideways like this so I don't wreck any of the embeds. Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, that's cute. So that's how the inside stayed and the top.
Oh, that one's cute. Okay, guys, I'll show you one more. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video.